Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about the lovely calendar that we received today. And I must say that uh, finally I think it's about time Kabam gets a sense of humor and it is on full display right here. Because uh, looking at everyone's initial reactions on YouTube or in uh, Kabam forum, this has been an astounding success in uh, making many, many people laugh in this very dark and, well, depressing time, to be honest. This is going to be one of the more depressing and quiet Christmas in many countries due to COVID and all the restrictions it implies. So I think we all needed a good laugh. And uh, a good laugh we got. A good laugh we got indeed. Because this calendar is woefully awful three of the days are occupied or four of the days are occupied by greater so no it's all solo crystal shards then we have some gold okay okay geez okay this calendar is so bad there's no real reason to actually go and dissect it it's just dreadful one of the biggest losses, the main thing, the biggest thing that we actually lost here is the tier 2 alpha, which kind of stings extra deep, because the uh, vast majority of endgame players are in dire, desperate need of tier 2 alphas, because the game's economy, well, they're a bit of a joke too, when it comes to distribution of tier 2 alphas compared to tier 5 basics. And... Uh, we can remind ourselves how this looked the year before. We had some 5-star shards, we had some 6-star shards, which are all gone now, replaced by greater... No, well, replaced by solo crystal shards. It's uh, quite, quite abysmal, I must say. And uh, I... It is so shocking, I can't even get mad at it, I must do props to Kabam, I think. Obviously, the, everybody's initial reaction, as far as I have seen, is uh, that uh, this has to be a joke or this has to be an error. I don't think it will be that. I think this is what we are meant to receive. The reason I think so is because it doesn't appear that this calendar is progression-based. And I think this calendar also shows us exactly why we all want progression-based rewards in the game because uh, if every single player in the game receive the same rewards Kabam can't give their top end players 5, 6 star shards, they can't give tier 2 alphas, tier 5 basic fragments or tier 5 cc or any of that stuff because then you'd end up with people who are maybe proven, people who have downloaded this game a week ago and are just learning the basics acquiring these ultra rare resources now in a single instance that might not be a huge deal but if it's a common theme and if it happens frequently then it just creates this weird situation where many of the new players can randomly access quite high-end stuff which is not ideal for anyone charge the resources and the rewards the new players might not necessarily need and they wouldn't be very helpful for a very long time and at the same time that automatically has Kabam drawing back in and uh, just toning down everything I had a sneaking suspicion and uh, for those of you who watched KT Tea Time podcast yesterday and for the rest of you it will be available in a week uh, as an upload, I did have my worries about this calendar because the last year's calendar already seemed to be quote unquote falling behind times. But last year's calendar is infinitely better when you look at this year's calendar. So I, I'm not even that mad, I'm not gonna rant or scream or pretend that I'm overly upset because I kind of saw this one coming because. Anything that is not progression-based in this game will seem underwhelming to pretty much every top-end player. We can talk about the Greater Gifting Crystals this year, though, which is what we have right in front of screen of us right now. 
and uh, I quite successfully kind of predicted that we will see six star signature stones, we will see uh, six star shards. Uh, Mandalorian did right, rightfully guess that we're going to see six star nexus and as well as the TFR CC. We don't see six star awakening gems, thank god, and we don't see anything kind of like beyond that point even though there aren't really many things beyond that point but yeah no these rather gifting crystals definitely have been spiced up fair amount to interest a lot of whales because the prospect of uh forming a bunch of tier 5 class catalysts and getting six stones for the champions it's definitely quite exciting so i do expect that there will be a plethora of whales who absolutely dive in to this Overall, uh, for me personally, I definitely will not be uh, wailing out hard, so to speak. I have been really reserved when it comes to my spending on the game, uh, largely due to my own financial constraints and COVID and all of the implications that has left in our household. But, uh, objectively, I do think that Greater Gifting Crystals will offer a decent chance for Kowalier players and newer players to kind of catch up to quote unquote, let's say, Old Guard, because uh, you can get these resources effectively in, in unlimited amount, only limitation being your credit card. And that is one time in the year when, uh, yeah, if you are newer to the game, or if you have been saving up very, very hard, you can give your account quite a huge push that will inevitably accelerate your progression towards the higher status of the game, get that throne breaker or whatever. Because technically, if you open up enough of these crystals, you have everything in there to become throne breaker and to rank up more and more and more champions rank three. Because as you can see there, you can get your GFI basics, you can get your six stars and six star shards, you can get signature stones, you can get tier five class catalysts. So these greater gifting crystals by themselves already include every single resource and tool necessary for somebody to get a champion to rank three as a six star, as well as acquire more six stars. So I do know for a fact that there will be a lot of people who absolutely enjoy this year's greater gifting crystals. And I do think we're going to see quite a bit of spending. It's just a shame that uh, this event seems so underwhelming when it comes to anything and everything that's on moderate to low budget or free to play. But again, uh, that has always been the nature of the gifting event in MCOC, so there's no reason to complain about it that much. But when it comes to the calendar, it's funny. I generally laughed when I saw it because I knew exactly what's going to happen in the community. Other than that, let me know what are your thoughts on the holiday calendar, this marvelous, magical two weeks, and uh, whether do you personally plan on going hard on Greater Gifting Crystals. But other than that, I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya.